What is up, YouTube? Nike Jordan, etc. here with a uh, sock comparison. Uh, so, hopefully, with this video, you can take out uh, as far as which sock is best for you. Um, so, uh, let me introduce to you the six main Nike or Jordan basketball socks. First one on the left is the two layer. Uh, 18 bucks and these are the hyper elites 18 bucks the regular Nike elites 16 bucks uh, sequelizers I must say these are 14 sequelizers 16 2.0's you can't find for retail but they retail at 16 and then the uh, electric green game day Jordan game day uh, 14 I believe maybe 16 um, so uh, these are the socks uh, basically 2.0's are the sequelizers I can't find any difference they're the same price and stuff so I'm just gonna take those out so we have less to compare uh, and also the game days are pretty much the same as the regular elites um, so that really narrows it down. Um, so, as far as affordability, obviously our winner is the regular Elite Socks because they're $14. They're cheaper than anything else here. Um, so, there's three main things you can look for in a sock is uh, support, uh, looking away uh, sweat, like dry fitness. Uh, and also affordability. Um, so, uh, let's go into the uh, cushioning first. Let me break down the cushioning as far as the bottom area is all I'm concerned about. Let me do that for you. Um, Alright, so the two layers it's uh, basically double what a regular lead is so you know you got two layers in there uh, which is pretty nice uh, as far as comfort um, it can be a little bit warm to wear though uh, and then these two are slightly more um, comfortable than the regular elites uh, but uh, really they're about the same so they're in between the regular elites and the two layers uh, if I had to compare uh, so that's that part of it for you now for the um, part as far as uh, being able to wick away sweat uh, keep your keep you dry as far as dry fitness uh, the first one the two layers if you want that this is not the sock for you because with that two layers you know it's like there's less room for air to escape so it'll build up on you uh, in your toe box area but not necessarily in the rest of it maybe in the uh, heel more than normal and also in the top area um, so this is not sock for you if that's like your most important thing plus they're 18 bucks on these I played in these once um, they're actually surprisingly well as far as wicking away moisture. Um, the whole sock is overall thicker, which is more durable. Um, but still, like, if you have in here, like, I could feel it breathing, like, in between these pads, which was pretty cool. Like, something I've not felt in another sock before. I know some people, like, split a hole, like, right down the middle of their elites so they breathe. But if you do that, make sure to do it on the top part of the toe box because if it's on the bottom, hot air rises, so that'll just get rid of your cold air. Um, and also, it might rub your foot raw. But if you do it up here, just split it or make a window uh, on any elites. I think that'll really help. I personally don't do that, but I know a lot of other people do. Uh, and then the next two are pretty much the same, the 2.0s and the regular elites. Um, basically what you have is just standard, you know, they say dry fit on them, um, right there, you can't see, um, 
But, uh, you know, they're not as good as wicking away moisture as the uh, hyper elites are for some reason. Now, it might be different no matter who you are, but I'd say hyper elites would have to win this round. Uh, and then cushioning and support would go to the two layer, and affordability would go to the regular elite socks right there. So, let me know what you think. I know I don't have the game days in here. They're basically the same as the regular Nike Elites. Um, also, same as the Team Speeds or Under Armour. Under Armour is probably the best bang for your buck. They're like $6 all sports socks. Uh, they're a little bit less padding, but they uh, are pretty breathable. Um, so that's my opinion on it. Uh, it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for support and cushioning and comfort, the two layer is your sock. If you're looking for uh, moisture, wick, wick layers, uh, then that is your sock. And for affordability, that is your sock. So let me know what you guys think. I know this has been a long video. Check the subscribe button. Peace.